On August 24th, 2023, it was announced to the world that Bray Wyatt had passed away at age 36. Wyatt, without question, was one of the most gifted, creative, and mesmerizing wrestlers to ever lace up a pair of boots, and he would be fondly missed. This video acts as a celebration of Wyatt's decorated career as we here at WrestleMania look at the 10 greatest moments of Bray Wyatt's career. Number 10, Firefly Funhouse. In 2020, WWE decided to revisit the program between Wyatt and John Cena. The two would then collide in a Firefly Funhouse match at WrestleMania 36, and due to it being the first match of its kind, nobody knew what to expect. It's safe to say that fans were blown away with what WWE, Wyatt, and Cena were able to put together. The match began with Cena making his entrance at the Performance Center, and Cena was then teleported to the Firefly Funhouse, where Cena was taken through a series of dream sequences that highlighted Cena's personality flaws. It was truly groundbreaking, and only a master such as Wyatt could have thought of such a compelling idea. The match explored Cena's debut, the idea of Cena turning heel, and Cena defeating Wyatt at WrestleMania 30. In several interviews following their cinematic masterpiece, Cena would go on to record to state how much he loved the match, and Cena has always had nothing but positive things to say about Wyatt, both as a wrestler and as a human being. Number 9. The Teased Babyface Turn Following WrestleMania 32, WWE seemed to be teasing the concept of Bray Wyatt as a babyface. Whilst Wyatt has always had a strong connection with the audience, the idea of Wyatt as a top babyface had yet to be explored. He would team with Roman Reigns on Raw against the League of Nations, and the finish of the match came when Wyatt performed a Sister Abigail on Alberta Del Rio, and as Reigns was spearing Sheamus, Wyatt would point at Reigns, and this was truly one of the coolest things ever seen on WWE TV. Number 8. NXT Goodbye as Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family were getting set to say goodbye to NXT and move up to the main roster, Wyatt was permitted to give a goodbye promo. Following Wyatt's passing, the promo is a hard watch, as it has a ton of foreshadowing. In the promo, Wyatt tells the audience that if they ever need him, he isn't hard to find. All they have to do is look up at the sky and follow the buzzards. It was a truly beautiful climax to Wyatt's NXT run. Number 7. His Main Roster Debut Bray Wyatt, along with Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, received the nod to be called up to the main roster in 2013. To promote their arrival, WWE aired tremendous vignettes that gave fans a closer look at what the Wyatt family were all about. They were sinister, scary, and reminded fans of scenes from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The trio would eventually arrive on the main roster, attacking Kane in the process, and it was clear from Wyatt's main roster debut that the WWE had a true megastar on their hands. Number 6. Wyatt Family Turncoat the Wyatt family had a fair number of additional members over the years, but for a brief period between 2013 to 14, Daniel Bryan was part of the faction. It wouldn't be too controversial to state that the saga between Wyatt and Bryan was the finest feud of Wyatt's WWE career, as the two men were born to face off in the ring. Their most memorable moment together was on Raw in early 2014, when Bryan decided to shed the skin of the Wyatt family, and he turned on Wyatt in the cage match on Raw. This resulted in Bryan receiving one of the largest ovations in WWE history, and the moment worked so well mainly due to Wyatt's incredible selling. Number 5. Bray Wyatt Captures the Universal Title Bray Wyatt was a multi-time world champion in WWE, yet it was his first Universal Title win that saw Wyatt have a truly acclaimed run with the title. He would win the title in a Falls Count Anywhere match at the Crown Jewel pay-per-view in 2019, and WWE gave Wyatt a ton of ammo to have a thrilling reign. The win itself was special as Wyatt won the title as the Fiend character, which was a true game changer. The character was unique and genuinely chilling. Now that the ominous character had a world title in WWE, it was going to change the entire landscape of the company. WWE made the welcome decision to revisit the feud with Daniel Bryan and Wyatt, and Bryan would yet again embark in an all-time classic. The two would wrestle in a strap match at the 2020 Royal Rumble pay-per-view, and the match received widespread praise, and even classic wrestling fans were calling it a match from a bygone era. Number 4. The Undertaker Endorses Bray Wyatt One of Bray Wyatt's most decorated rivals was The Undertaker. The two collided at WrestleMania 31, and coming out the show, it was made clear that the dead man had a ton of respect for Wyatt and his talents. Fast forward to Raw in 2023, and Wyatt and The Undertaker had a wholesome interaction in the ring, where the dead man who was portraying his American badass persona whispered something into Wyatt's ear. This was a passing of the torch moment, and in an out-of-character interview with Sportsnet, The Undertaker delved into why the segment was so important and what he said to Wyatt. There's obviously a huge number of comparisons between his character and mine, and I think he's his own guy. He's his own character. I don't think it's fair to compare him to what he does to what I did. 
In the big scheme of things, it's kind of in the same supernatural, I don't know what genre, it's 2023 and he's doing his own thing, but I can appreciate it, I can see what he's trying to do, and I just let him know too, my phone's always on and if he needs to talk about me about things or run things by me, that's cool. I'll be more than glad to share my experiences with him and hopefully shine some light on maybe questions that he has moving forward. So yeah, it was a cool moment and it did exactly what I thought it would do. Wyatt never shied away from the fact that he adored The Undertaker, so naturally, sharing the ring with The Undertaker in this positive manner would have meant the world to him. Number 3. Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton Join Forces Smackdown Live was on fire in 2016 and one of the reasons for the show's success and critical acclaim was the partnership between Wyatt and Randy Orton. Orton would join forces with Wyatt and Luke Harper to create a new version of the Wyatt family, and whilst on paper it seemed like an odd fit, it was ultimately some of the finest work of each of their respective careers. Orton was tremendous in the role and Wyatt and Harper were clearly having the time of their lives working with the all-time great. All three incredible talents were motivated to make the storyline work and it was one of the standout storylines of the SmackDown Live era. WWE would even crown Wyatt and Orton as the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions as the duo were in the titles at the TLC pay-per-view in late 2016. Orton was a constant presence in Wyatt's WWE career and it didn't matter if they were on the same team or they were feuding, WWE fans collectively came together to see how their story was going to evolve. Number 2. Bray Wyatt Wins the WWE Title The highlight of a wrestler's career is usually when they win a title, but when they win the top prize in a respective company, their sacrifice and hard work all comes full circle. At the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in 2017, Wyatt reached the top of the WWE ladder as he pinned John Cena, then AJ Styles in the chamber to win his first WWE title. It was a wholesome and satisfying moment that's now extremely hard to re-watch without getting emotional. The years of perseverance had paid off for Wyatt and he was finally the top guy in WWE. And number 1. Bray Wyatt Returns in 2021, WWE decided to cut ties with Bray Wyatt and this would be labelled as one of the worst decisions WWE had ever made. For over a year, fans campaigned for Wyatt to return to the company and thankfully, Triple H finally made it happen at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in 2022. Following Riddle's victory over Seth Rollins in the main event, the lights went out in the arena and the White Rabbit mystery that had been presented on TV for the past few months was finally revealed. Wyatt's voice was then heard singing the verse, he's got the whole world in his hands, as real life versions of the Firefly Funhouse characters were summoned in the arena. References to Wyatt's prior run were present, and these included a burnt fiend mask on the top of the announce table, referencing Wyatt being burned by Randy Orton back in 2020. A video on the Titan Tron would then begin to play, depicting an abandoned Firefly Funhouse set, but back in the arena, a door opened, showing a strange light. A mysterious masked figure then walked out, carrying Wyatt's lantern, and the figure would then reveal themselves as Bray Wyatt. Wyatt would declare, I'm here, before triumphantly blowing out the lantern. This unbelievable reveal received one of the largest ovations of all time, and the moment quickly went viral with fans new and old, all discussing how epic Wyatt's return was. It was wonderful to have Wyatt back home in WWE, and fans were eagerly anticipating his next storyline and character arc. But those were 10 of the greatest Bray Wyatt moments. What were yours in your opinion? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.